After weeks of negotiations and speculation, the JDS and BJP finally announced an alliance to fight the upcoming Lok Sabha election. The official entry of the JDS into the NDA was announced by JDS leader H.D. Kumarasamy after he met with Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Delhi. BJP President J.P. Nadda and Goa CM Pramod Savant, who were present in the meeting, took to social media to formally announce this alliance. BJP veteran B.S. Yediorappa had in early September revealed that an alliance had been firmed up with the JDS and that he is waiting for the central leadership to make the formal announcement. Kumarasamy has since maintained that he is looking forward to an alliance to take on Chief Minister Siddharamaya and his deputy D.K. Shivkumar. However, both the BJP and the JDS are yet to announce a seat-sharing formula. The alliance was seen as a necessity for the JDS after it was battered by the Congress in the assembly polls. Today formally we discussed about joining hand with BJP by joining NDA partner. Tell you, we have discussed preliminary issues formally. All those outcome will going to be announced at a at appropriate time. The JDS is a party with a concentrated influence in the old Mysuru region with a stronghold over Karnataka's second largest voting bloc, the Vokaliga caste vote. The BJP is weak in parts of this region and hopes to galvanize itself with this alliance. While both the parties were defeated by the Congress in the recent assembly election, the BJP and the JDS in Karnataka are desperate for a new strategy. However, the alliance or the success of it would depend on the seat sharing arrangement between the two and if the JDS can transfer votes to its ally. With camera person Govind, Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.